hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today video is for those suffering from hair breakage and hair dryness we all know that hair dryness causes hair breakage and when you're experiencing excessive breakage your hair will remain the same length or it will cause the shortness of your hair which means you will not be able to grow longer hair or retain length so with this treatment you will not experience hair dryness it will help you retain moisture and also retain your hair length So guys let's get started our first ingredient is ginger ginger is very beneficial for head to hair growth it helps to improve the blood circulation on the scalp while it helps to stimulate each hair follicles in turn promote hair growth ginger contains many vitamin mineral and fatty acid which contribute to strengthening your hair strand and also help to fight hair loss and ginger also contribute to restoring moisture loss on the hair and ginger also contain anti-inflammatory property which help to keep the strand and the scalp away from any form of hair disease so after peeling and dicing your ginger you will go ahead and blend it with half cup of olive oil or coconut oil use any oil of your choice up next our next ingredient is glove Glove is very rich in beta carotene and when made into oil, it helps to hasten blood flow on the scalp, which helps to stimulate hair growth. At this point, you go on and blend your glove. Glove also helps provide abundant, long lasting moisture for your hair. The benefit of glove for hair cannot be overemphasized. It contains large amount of nutrients that is very beneficial for, for healthy hair growth. It helps to get rid of dandruff, fight scalp irritation, prevent premature hair graying, and also help to control hair fall. So at this point, we go back to our blended ginger. Like I mentioned earlier, please blend your ginger with oil not water so i use half cup of olive oil to blend my ginger i actually lost a clip of where i was adding the oil you can use any oil of your choice be it coconut oil avocado oil but i used olive oil so at this point i'll go ahead and add in three spoon of my glove powder that i already blended don't forget please make sure you blend your glove for this particular treatment so i went ahead and mixed it together now i have the glove and the ginger inside of my hot electric pot so i also went ahead and add in another half cup of olive oil you can actually use uh, the double boiling method if you want but I, I boiled it directly because I can control the heat since it's electric. So I put in half cup of cocoa butter, half cup of shea butter and another half cup of mango butter. You can actually use any butter of your choice. If you have only shea butter you can go ahead and use just shea butter or you can go ahead and use just mango butter. But it's good to mix at least two butter together so you can get a stable texture. If you decide to use just shea butter, you're going to get a really soft consistency. This texture is going to be extremely soft. When you use only cocoa butter, you will get very solid texture. So it's more preferable when you add two oil together, maybe cocoa butter and mango butter or cocoa butter and shea butter. Doing this, we get like a stable consistency, like a stable texture. It's not going to be too soft or too solid. So you cover it up and let it sit for at least two to three minutes. Then you let it cool down before you can do anything with it. And after about 30 minutes, this is what it looks like. It's totally cold at this point. So you go ahead and strain out the oil. Like I always say in my other video, if you're doing something like this, make sure you use like a cloth that have very tiny holes. So you won't have particles in your uh, the one you strain out because you're going to be applying this directly to your hair. So you don't want to have particles all over your hair. Just take your time and strain it out and this is what you're going to have. So now this is your butter and oil infused with ginger and glove. So this is going to give us ginger and glove hair moisturizer. So at this point you place it in your fridge and let it sit for like 20 to 30 minutes and it will solidify. So this is what your glove and butter is going to be looking like. 
also if you want to make this and sell i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add in your preservative so it can last you for as long as you want first off i'm going to scale it i'm going to turn my scale to zero and make sure there's nothing on there then i will put in my product this is how i learned to add preservative so my end product is 326 gram so you might actually do this calculation before you mix everything together but i did mine because uh, at the end of the day i will still get the same uh, consistency which is the butter consistency that i'm getting right now so they might end up weighing almost the same thing so my end product is 326 gram so i'm going to be using a uh, german plus preservative and the usage rate is within 0.1 to 0.5 so this is what you do like I mentioned earlier, your end product is 326 gram times 0.1 because 0.1 is the German Plus preservative usage rate, 0.1 to 0.5. So you multiply your end product by the preservative usage rate, which is 0.1 I'm going to be using. It will give us 32.6. The next thing is that you divide 32.6 divided by 100, you get 0.326, which is going to be your measurement for your preservative. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I will go ahead and measure my preservative, which is 0.326. At this point, I end up measuring 0.32. It was so hard for me to get the 0.326. I don't know why. Measuring preservative is not the easiest. I'm also new to it. A lot of people are on my DM asking me about preservative because many people make the products they learn from here on YouTube and sell. And you can't sell some products without preservative. So I just have to go out of my way to learn this thing and share just in case you make the same for sale. So I just use my syringe to extract out all the preservative because I want to make sure I add everything. Then I will go ahead and whip this butter whip it as long as you can make sure everything is mixed together at this point you can add in your essential oil glycerin maybe vitamin e whatever you want to add you can go ahead and add it at this point and let me also remind you that you still have this a little smell of ginger so if you want to add maybe lavender oil just to uh, reduce the smell of ginger you can go ahead and add that your glove and ginger hair moisturizer is ready guys the consistency of this moisturizer i love it it's so it give you it give you this ice cream kind of consistency it doesn't even give you a butterish kind of it give you this fluffy ice cream kind of consistency so at this point i'm just going to be showing you guys little way i apply this to my hair you can use this for sealing you can use it to moisturize your hair you can use it to bring back your dry hair to life you can use it to braid your hair protective style anything you want to use it for so this one my hair look like dry completely dry so i'm just going to use this to do my simple everyday protective style that i do this is just a simple uh, weave that I, I do when I want to wear a wig. Uh, even when I'm wearing my wig, I make sure that my hair are protected and not dry. This is moisturizer. Hair butter obviously is going to keep your hair away from anything that has to do with dryness. Let me remind you that if you're so into growing your hair longer, you want to grow the length of your hair and your hair is always dry which means dryness causes breakage your hair is going to always break when it is dry you cannot achieve that longer than you desire so that means you have to moisturize your hair condition your hair as often as you can especially when you have high pressure hair like mine you need to always make sure there is moisture going on in your hair if not you suffer from dryness i particularly moisturize my hair every two days if it's not in a protective style because my hair quickly dry out so if my hair quickly dry out and i ignore it that means it will result to shedding dryness breakage and all my dream to grow a longer hair would definitely be thrown into the gutter i don't know if you guys understand so you need moisture regardless you need moisture to keep your hair healthy so this is just my everyday kind of hair that i make if i know i'm going to go out with a wig just a simple one with this my hair is moisturized it's healthy it is all put together but then again if i'm not going to wear wig for that day this is what my hair look like you guys can see how the butter make my hair really soft and fluffy and you guys can look back and see what my hair look from the beginning before i added this my hair was so dry my hair feel really soft moisturized with enough oil because there's oil in this whole mixture there is butter going on there is the whole uh, ingredient 
uh, ginger and, and glove this particular product is such a total package so guys this is all i do on my channel here i share how to take care of your hair how to make your own product just everything regarding healthy hair growth if you look like what you like to watch please go ahead and hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video if you have any questions you can comment down below and i will see you guys bye